Hello and uh, thank you for watching our video tutorial on training you to use your school app. To start, you're going to go to our main website, yourmobileschoolapp.com, which I already have pulled up. You'll click on login and you'll type in your school username and password. For now, we're going to show you our default one. Now, once you log in, you will see this is the main screen. It's the overview. This is your Manage tab where all your Manage features are, which we will be showing you in a second part video. Edit is where you'll actually be building out your app and making changes. Settings, which is where you can control parts of your app. And of course, our work order tab, which you'll definitely want to be using a lot for any changes that you want on your app. You just simply can click here at any time. It will take you right to our work order page. You'll put in your name, the school name, phone number, your email address, whatever changes that you're requesting, and any files that you want to attach. If you have pictures you can't get in, if you have PDF files or Word documents that you need converted, anything that you're having problems with or just don't have the time to do, you can put in here and we'll get it done for you within 24 to 48 hours. But now let me take you back to the app and let me show you the very first thing you'll want to do when you start, which is click on right here on the top right hand corner, click on account. And you'll want to make sure you put in your school name here, whichever email address that you are going to want everything to come to here. This is that this is all the information that's going to be going on your promotion flyer. And then the best phone number for people to reach you, so your main school phone number. So that is a main functionality of everything. After you put in that information, you're going to want to come down here to settings. Click on settings. And you want to make sure you choose your school's time zone. Because this will end up going in all the forms whenever you fill out everything. So you don't have to choose a time zone every time. Members and groups. If you're going to be using members and group section, to separate your app, this is where you'll be turning this on and managing that. We'll, we'll show you that later in another video tutorial. Social, if you want the ability for users to comment on some of your stuff like your events and fan wall, you leave this on. If you do not want the ability for anybody to make, leave comments, you just turn this off. The right here is for the share button. If you have the share option on your app, you can customize whatever message you want right here. And when people click the share to share the app with others, this is what will be sent out. And this is really the only stuff you need to learn right away to just get your app set up. After that, you're going to want to go to manage, click promote. And this is where the information that you had entered up here under account settings will now show up on your flyer. This is a flyer that we provide to you. You can just click download right here and it will download this flyer where you can take and simply scan the QR codes and people will be taken directly to your app for Android or Apple. You can also click on the LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or Google Plus share icons. And you'll be able to get a code that will share your app on each one of those platforms, which is helping people find and download your app easily. And that is the end of the first video. The second video, we are going to show you some of the major other features of the app. Thank you.